Hi everyone, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be working on a card with um, some, um, like kind of like an oriental theme, I guess. Um, I'm going to be using some embossing paste I, and a stencil. I haven't used um, the embossing paste I've never used before and the stencil, it's been a while. So um, I'm starting out by die cutting my uh, main panel here. And this um, is a piece of uh, Gina K Designs cardstock. Um, not right sure how what the name of the cardstock color is, but I will link everything below or list everything below in case you're interested. I like this cardstock in particular because since I'm going to be using the embossing paste, um, I wanted a little bit thicker cardstock, um, and um, this cardstock is really thick. So, um, so I've gone ahead and die cut that um, using one of the Lawn Vaughn stitched rectangle dies, and now I'm going to go ahead and prepare my embossing paste. So I'm just laying out my craft sheet here and laying that down, and then I'm going to get my stencil here. Um, this is the extra large dot stencil, as you can see there, from Simon Says Stamp. Um, and I, I am going to be using this with some gold embossing paste um, from Wendy Vecchi. I'm going to first uh, tape down my stencil so it won't shift whenever I'm using it. And I'm using Micropore tape for that. So, got that going and laying that down. And now I'm going to get my embossing paste here. This is, like I said, the Wiggly Vecchi and Metallic Gold. This is really, really pretty. Um, you'll see it here later in the video whenever it does dry, how beautiful it is. So I was anxious to use this today. So I'm just laying down my embossing paste and I want it relatively a thin layer. Um, and this embossing paste, I noticed whenever I was using it, um, compared to the other the just the white that this one has a little bit of a different smell to it it's not a really bad smell but it's just different and also the texture of it is different it's more like like a pudding smooth pudding texture instead of a gritty texture so um but anyway so i've gone ahead and applied all my paste that i want and i'm taking removing my stencil here and whenever you do use this, be sure to put your stencil in um, some water, go wash it off, or put it in some water immediately, and either way, because you don't want this stuff to dry, because it will be awfully hard to get it off. So, so now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of stamping. I'm using the Mama Elephant Pandemonium Stamp Set, and I'm using some pigment ink today. This is the Sukuneko Memento um, ink in um, Espresso Truffle. I didn't want black. I wanted, I knew that this ink was pretty dark. It's close to a black, but I didn't want um, the ink to be as harsh as black. So I'm just showing you there that, you know, in person, um, you can tell that um, it's not black, but it's, you know, a pretty good, pretty good color for the color scheme that I'm going for today. So now I'm using the um, coordinating die to cut this out. And so I'm going to get my die here and my die cut machine. And um, first I went ahead and used my heat tool. Since this is pigment ink, I heat embossed this just to, hit, to um, quickly um, set it with the heat because it does take longer to dry if it was just air drying. So I went ahead and die cut my piece out. And I also stamped this on some vintage vintage cream cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. I didn't want stark white either, so um, so that's why I stamped it on the vintage cream. So now I'm going to go ahead and while my embossing paste is drying, um, I'm going to work on the rest of my card. And I've got this six by six called Pier. I think it's just Pier. I think. Um, from crepe paper, I believe, and I've die cut this um, piece, uh, the chevron uh, pattern paper. I wanted some to incorporate some red in here, so that's why I chose this particular pattern. And I die cut that out using another one of the stitched rectangles. And I'm going to go ahead and, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and stamp out my sentiment. And I'm using the In My Heart set from Mama Elephant and this uh, sentiment here called I'll Be Here. Or it says, I'll be here if you need a hug. 
So um, I'm using the same ink as before, the special truffle, to ink that up. And I'm going to stamp that onto the um, piece that I die cut from earlier. And I'm just going to stamp that down. And I'm also going to heat that set this as well because I'm going to be using um, a punch and I didn't want the ink to smear before I while I used my punch. So I'm going to heat set that real quick and just, you know, make sure that it doesn't move or smear. So I'm going to do that. And I'm using an old punch. <laughs> I haven't used my punches in quite a long time. I don't use my punches near what I used to when I first started card making, but, um, I s literally had to dust them off. Um, so I, I'm using a Stampin' Up stamp or a Stampin' Up punch. I believe this is called the, oh, dog tag punch, something like that. Um, if I can find it, it's very, very, it's discontinued now, but if I can find it somewhere, um, I will try to link it below or at least the name of the punch. So I really do like this punch for small sentiments like this. Um, and it was one of my favorites when I really, whenever I first got the punch, um, and I still do like it. So that's why, I, um, I broke it out today. <laughs> so I'm just kind of arranging my pieces here. As you can see, that's how it's going to be laid out. So now I'm going to get my plus adhesive here, my tape runner, and I'm going to apply some adhesive on the back of my little panda bear here. You can see I'm kind of just going to the side of it um, uh, for where I want to apply the, the little um, sentiment part on the back. So I'm going to adhere both of those pieces together. And then I'm going to go ahead and put adhesive on the whole thing. Um, making sure that I get that all covered and um, well adhered. Now I'm going to go ahead and place that onto my pattern paper here. I really do like how this card turned out. Um, it's a little bit of a different style for me, but um, I wanted... I want to incorporate all these colors together. Um, I just had this sort of in my head and I wanted to go with it. So, but there you see all the yummy gold goodness <laughs> that once it dried, um, it's so pretty. I love, love this stuff. So, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, adhere some foam adhesive onto this little piece here. And I'm using my um, Scotch um, uh, adhesive here, my big roll. So I'm applying some of that. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to my um, main panel here. And I'm going to press that into place. And I'm going to go ahead and also put foam adhesive on the main panel too. Um, before I do that, I'm going to prepare my card base here. This is a piece of Basil um, card shop cardstock. I'm not exactly sure what the color is. Um, I don't have in, I don't have this cardstock in individual colors. I bought the sample pack, but I believe it's like hot fudge or something like that. But I will find it and I will um, be sure to list it below for you. Um, so I am going to I had gone ahead and applied my foam adhesive on the back, and I'm going to put this on my card base, and that pretty much finishes up our card today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this tutorial, please me, leave me a thumbs up and I will see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.